A massive chunk of metal sitting atop four wheels. Sometimes it's black, other times it's brightly colored. We all believe we understand what a car is. They transport us from point A to point B. However, there are some cars that truly defy the definition of what a car can or should be. Some of them are truly insane in the most brilliant ways. Here is a list of the world's most unusual vehicles. Number 12, 1959 Cadillac Cyclone. The 1959 Cadillac Cyclone is the type of car we'd like to see on the assembly line. General Motors Vice President Harley Earl created this futuristic piece of automotive brilliance. Harley wanted to build his dream car to commemorate the end of an era. Throughout his career, he was known as a man with a natural ability in automotive artistry. His cars were long and low, which drew the attention of GM in the first place. As a result, it came as no surprise that the Cyclone would be spectacular. Even if it never progressed beyond the concept car stage, it was built with a 104-inch wheelbase and all-wheel independent suspension. It had a rear-mounted automatic transmission and a front-mounted 390-inch cube engine. Surprisingly, the exhaust is not in the back. It was placed in front of the front wheels. The car also had twin front nose cones that were outfitted with radar systems as a collision prevention system. The bubble top canopy was eye-catching and the silver paint job was very well executed to provide UV protection. As if the car wasn't already cutting edge, it had sliding electric doors and an automatic canopy opener. Number 11. Bloodhound there aren't many kids who haven't raced their toy cars around living rooms carpets claiming to have the fastest car in the world. Most of those kids will grow out of their fast car face, but others will not. These children grow up to create vehicles such as the Bloodhound, a jet-powered vehicle developed in 2008 to break the land speed record. The Bloodhound resembles a cross between a rocket ship and a racing car. Thousands of dollars had been spent developing it to break the speed record of 760 miles per hour today. However, by 2018, the entire scheme was on the verge of collapse due to a lack of funding. That is, until Ian Warhurst, a Yorkshire businessman, stepped in with the funds needed. The future of the automobile appears to be brightening. Andy Green will be driving to try to break his own record and they hope to reach speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour this year or next. Number 10. Phoenix Bamboo Car For a long time, we've known how versatile bamboo can be. It's not only a tasty snack for pandas, but it's also used to make bedding, clothing, cutting boards, cutlery, bicycles, and other items. But now we can make cars out of it. Albert Berkner, a German product designer, nailed it. And Filipino designer Kenneth Cabonpue came up with the idea of a car made of a bamboo shell. This lightweight, environmentally friendly mode of transportation has the potential to lead the rest of humanity to a more sustainable and eco-friendly future. The car would have a naturally woven bamboo skin that degrades at the same rate as the car itself. Number 9. BMW Isetta If you think today's modern smart cars are adorable, you'll say, uh, when you see the BMW Isetta. You won't find many of these around today, if any at all. They were unusually popular when they first appeared on the market in the 50s and 60s. This tiny car was available in 45 different colors and versions ranging from the standard to special edition. They were also registered as motorcycles in Germany, which is understandable given their size. Before cars like the Volkswagen Beetle put an end to the Isetta craze, over 160,000 units were sold. So, what made this tiny car so unique? It was small but powerful. It got 60 miles per gallon, had a swinging front door, a moving steering column, and all-weather protection. People also liked how cheap and easy it was to park them, as well as the fact that they could fit two people but not much else. 
Of course, the BMW was not the family car that everyone required, but it was one of the cars that you simply had to have because it was so special. Number 8. Toyota FV2 People frequently develop emotional attachments to their vehicles. That statement, however, could not be more accurate than in the case of the Toyota FV2. This concept car is a tiny pond vehicle that can be driven either sitting or standing. It makes a physical and emotional link with drivers. You could be curious how that works, and yes, it's a little strange. The pod has one front wheel and two rear wheels, and the color combinations of the car's exterior reflect the driver's mood. Surprisingly, this vehicle also lacks a steering wheel. With the help of image and voice recognition, you move your body weight around to move the car forward, backward, left, and right. The car will also collect data on the driver's mood in order to recommend driving routes. It will even recognize your ability and will provide driving tips. The car is so advanced that it almost doesn't appear real, and it isn't. It was first shown as a concept at the 2013 Tokyo Motor Show. Then there was the 2016 Chicago Auto Show. There is no word on when we will see this emotionally charged vehicle on our city streets. Number 7. Aeromobile More concepts are hitting the market as more companies figure out how to make their cars fly. The Aeromobile model is attracting attention and we like what we see. This Slovakian startup company created a sleek and modern flying car worth $1.6 million. But don't be concerned if you're short on cash. An entry-level model is also available for $1.3 million. Quick, find that loose change by flipping up your couch cushions. Only 500 Aeromobiles are produced per year. The Aeromobile 4.0 flying car made its public debut in June 2017 at Paris Le Bourget Airport during the International Paris Air Show. The car's goal was to reduce travel time and allow ordinary car drivers to travel up to 620 miles faster than ever before. Believe it or not, the design of this car has been progressing nicely and it is expected that people will be able to get their hands on them very soon with pre-orders taken beforehand. When up to 500 aeromobiles complete for airspace, only time will tell. Number 6. The Thorium It's common to feel as if you've just filled up your car and then it's nearly empty again. It's an endless cycle of spending money simply to get to places. But what if you could fill up once and never fill up again? That's what one company is proposing with a Thorium-powered vehicle. Thorium is a dense material with approximately 20 million times the energy of coal of the same size. It is a naturally occurring radioactive element discovered by a Norwegian mineralogist in 1828. After that, a Swedish chemist discovered it and named it Thorium after the god Thor. This mineral piqued the interest of laser power systems, which created a concept car that ran on it. Just 8 grams of it would be enough to power this car to run 1 million miles. As a result, the vehicle will almost certainly outlive you on a single tank of gasoline. The issue is that we are moving away from such materials, implying that this concept is unlikely to catch on. Number 5. Upside Down Ford F-150 F-150s abound in the United States. In fact, it was the best-selling truck in 2019 with over 900,000 units sold. So, if you have one, you will almost certainly find yourself almost getting into someone else's at a parking spot at least once. Unless you're Rick Sullivan, owner of Illinois Collision Center, of course he has an F-150, but it's unlike any you've ever seen. It was combined with a 1991 Ford Ranger to form an upside-down topsy-turvy vehicle. Rick spent $6,000 and six months fusing the two trucks to create his one-of-a-kind road-legal vehicle. It has four airborne wheels, four underneath, and an upside-down truck body for the passengers. It even has side mirrors at the bottom to add to the oddity. People are amazed according to Rick when they see his creation. They even ask that he pull over to the side of the road so they can get a better look. Rick created this one-of-a-kind piece of automotive art using his knowledge of the collision industry and seeing many upturned vehicles. Number 4. The Wind Explorer How often do you find yourself gripping about the high cost of gasoline? 
Maybe you should stop complaining and start doing something. That's precisely what Dirk Gajan and Stefan Simmer did. The TV host and engineer from Germany spent only $13 while traveling 3,107 miles and that wasn't even for gas. In a lightweight vehicle, the couple traveled across Australia from Albany to Sydney. The Wind Explorer is an electric vehicle. The car was propelled by the wind, which was generated by wind turbines and kites. The 18-day journey set numerous records, including crossing a continent in a wind-powered vehicle, covering the longest distance in a vehicle of its type in 36 hours, and covering the most distance on land. Before you rush out to buy a Wind Explorer, keep in mind that it is still in the concept stage. The vehicle, which weighs 441 pounds and includes a battery pack, has a carbon fiber and aluminum frame and sports bike tires. When conditions permit, the lithium-ion battery pack is charged overnight by a wind turbine. The men left Perth, Western Australia on January 21, 2011 and arrived in Sydney on February 14, 2011. Throughout the journey, they averaged around 50 miles per hour. Number 3. The TFX Flying Car Nobody enjoys being stuck in traffic, but if the TFX is produced, it will only be a matter of time before that becomes a thing of the past. Imagine getting in your car, lifting it off the ground, and flying to work or school. The TFX is a concept vehicle that may go into production sooner than expected. It has four seats and can take off and land without a runway. Terrafugia debuted its plug-in hybrid electric vehicle in 2013 and since then substantial progress has been made. It has a stated range of 500 miles and can travel up to 410 miles at speeds of 100 miles per hour. The flying car also has a 99 bhp rotary aircraft engine which powers both the wheels for driving and the rotors for flying. The good news is that you don't need to be a pilot to operate it. It is self-contained, but there are conventional methods and an override function. If necessary, there is also a parachute system. Believe it or not, learning to drive this car is simple. It takes about 5 hours to master and the car fits in a standard single car garage. The TFX took about 10 years to develop. Number 2. Bugatti Chiron Lego Car most automotive engineers will tell you that creating a car from the ground up is difficult. To get it right, hundreds of manpower and a lot of tweaking are required. So, you'd have to be insane not only to try to build one, but to do it out of LEGO. But that is precisely what a group of LEGO experts did in 2017. According to LEGO senior art director Alan Jensen, a meeting was held to organize a design brief for a full-sized moving LEGO Bugatti Chiron. It seemed impossible, but the end result proves that it was possible. The moving, working vehicle had a steel frame and real wheels, but only three parts of the entire structure were not made of LEGO. The 1.5-ton Bugatti Chiron was built in 13,000 500 hours with over 1 million LEGO Technic bricks. Pins and beams were used to connect three layers. For durability, technical panels were used. The majority of the build was completed from memory because there is no manual for building a life-sized Bugatti. Number 1. Google's Driverless Car Many of us have fantasized about being wealthy and famous enough to have people chauffeur us around. We could get in the car, tell the driver where we wanted to go, and then sit back, open a book, or simply enjoy the ride. It never seemed possible until a few years ago. But Google is on our side. We don't need to be famous, we just need to be wealthy. Google's self-driving car has been in development since around 2008. They tinkered with Toyota Prius hybrids and Lexus SUVs, installing sensors, cruise control camera systems, and spinning laser scanners. They've gone one step further with a new self-driving car. They were the first to create one without a steering wheel, accelerator, or brakes. But don't worry, an emergency brake is available. All you have to do is to get into the smart car-like vehicle, press the start button, enter your destination into Google Maps, and relax. The car does all of the legwork for you. You can now arrive at work completely relaxed rather than frazzled from the journey. Are you content with your old fateful Toyota Prius? Or are you ready to upgrade to something unique and slightly absurd? 
like one of these vehicles. Have you come across any? Tell us in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell on our Tech Guys channel so you don't miss out on all the new videos that come out every other day that are all about some Tech Guys tech news and reviews. Check you out next time.